Hello everyone. My name is Divya Chauhan and I am a regulatory affair associate. Regulatory affair work for pharmaceutical industry in the clinical development process for submitting a successful marketing applications like NDA, BLA, INDA, ANDA, etc. I am going to tell you how a regulatory associate work and what all activities it includes. So, starting with my morning routine. Firstly, I log into my laptop by using my credentials. Then I will open Outlook email box. Every day, few tasks has been allocated by team lead to team members through email. I will check my allocations email and enlist them as per priority and timelines. I will check the submission application type and for the region it belongs. As per the submission, I will follow the guidelines. If the submissions are for US country, I will follow US FDA guidelines. Likewise, for the regulatory guidelines are different for every country. I will open the document and perform publishing activities. My core activities include ease of readiness of the clinical documents as well as safety documents to make it regulatory compliant. Ease of readiness of the documents include bookmarking, hyperlinking, pagination, page size and many more activities. As per the guideline, we must prepare the document. After completing the ease of readiness of the documents, I will log into regulatory publishing tools such as Global Insight, Lawrence Documents and etc. to publish those documents. Regulatory publishing tools helps us to publish the submission as per EC ready structure. After publishing, we will receive the published output. Then I have to perform validation check by running validator tools like Lawrence validator. Once it get validated, I will check the report and if any corrections required, I would correct it. And if it seems fine, then I will submit the submission package to regulatory person of the respective company, like pharma company or CRO, etc. After getting approval from regulatory person, I will dispatch the submission to regulatory authority, like to US FDA, by using electronic gateways. Regulatory authority will review and approve the submission if it follows all the standards. I will receive receipts and acknowledgments that I must share to the company via email. Once my submission got approval from US FDA, that means the submitted application of the product is safe and effective, and it will be made available for consumer use. Initially, freshers cannot handle end-to-end -end activities. Freshers will be trained on each activity start from clinical research phases, regulatory background and tool knowledge. So at the end, this is the small description about my day as a regulatory professional. Thank you so much. If you find my video useful, then stay tuned by hitting like and subscribe button.